Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and hit the bell symbol to turn on your notification and get notified for my upcoming new video tutorial in the near future. And now let's get started with this tutorial guys. I know guys, let's get uh, started here, but before we're going to start my, our subject here, uh, I have here the 10 inches by 12 inches uh, canvas. Uh, my background with my canvas, the blue green. Uh, I mix the uh, viridian green and the cobalt blue, so so that I can uh, produce this kind of background. And I have here the color white, the black, the cadmium orange. This one is the uh, medium yellow this one is the cobalt blue so our subject here is a uh, bird a flamingo a flamingo bird uh, the first thing uh, to do is we're going to improve this uh, background here uh, this one I I have here the uh, number number eight uh, flat brush so I'm going to uh, improve this background or create some uh, blurry effects to this uh, background uh, first thing to do is I'm going to mix this color. The first thing to do is I'm going to mix this color, the blue and the white color. I'm going to mix the blue and the white color. There you go. And I'm going to create some circle here. And this one here. This one some circle there you go this kind of circle there small dots and the bigger dots bigger circle there you go and this one here this is my background on my to this painting here there you go and this one just create here a circle selecting the area here there you go even the faded uh, circle I'm going to add also there you go then I'm going to get my my number two flat brush again I'm going to feed it one or just blend the circle here I'm going to feed this edges of the circle There you go. I'm going to clean my brass. My brass here. There you go. My circular type of my brass. There you are just circular there there you go just observe my bra strokes it's circular type there you are very nice this one If the paint is dry, just add water to your brush hair so that it will uh, make it uh, soft again. I'm going to soften this uh, uh, e the edge of the uh, circle and just observe my brush strokes there. There you go. And 
this one uh -huh, it's something it's kind of dry so I just add water to my brass hair and just blend again to create this kind and just circul circular type there and there you go it should be feed effects to the uh, every edges of this uh, circle I'm use I'm still using my number two flat brush my canvas is small so I can easily uh, I can use this number two uh, flat brush but if your canvas is a little bit bigger you can also use a, a little higher number of flat brush to create this kind of effects this one also here I'm going to soften this uh, every edges of this uh, these lights add white to the uh, sky blue color I'm going to add white I'm going to paint also here just add some white there at the very center this one also here and just also blend or just there very nice circular type also I'm going to use the circular type in my brush strokes uh, so this one here there very nice and this one just add some circle here then also this one just add some small circle little bit uh, uh, clear than to the first one that I uh, um, paint there you go now it's time to add here the outline uh, I'm going to mix this uh, blue and white color create the sky blue color I'm going to sketch here the uh, flamingo I think this one a little bit bigger of the the head there you go this is the body of this flamingo the neck and this one is the body yeah that's it there you go this one is the head the neck and the back this one is the body of the flamingo so we're going to detail this one here I'm going to mix this color I'm going to use my a little bit bigger brush the number it flat brush I'm going to mix the color this the blue and the black color there you go I'm going to mix these two color the blue and the black and add a white color there you are and just paint here this is the uh, or just add more white to create this curious blue color for my outline this flamingo the head here this is the head this is the back the beak there you are it's the beak of this flamingo then the neck we're going to create here the neck this 
this flamingo here. There you are. There you go. This one. There you are. Very nice. Just continue uh, make, uh, mixing this or combine these three colors, the black and the blue, then white should be a uh, lighter lighter uh, grayish blue I just add white and I'm going to paint here for the body of this flamingo there you are There you go. I can combine also the here directly the to the canvas, the blue, then add the black color. Yeah, you can do that here. You can just directly combine to the canvas to your canvas also I'm going to uh, add blue here then add also the black color and just just combine this color to directly to the canvas so that you can create the uh, there Just a little bit curved to the upper portion because of this wing of this flamingo. There you are. And the curve here going to the neck. The blue, the black here, and just uh, blend this two colors here and there so it's the body there you are there very nice just continue here the blue there you go the blue and the black color or the cobalt blue just combine these two color to the canvas there you go there you are very nice There you are there. It's my flamingo. In the black color, or just mix this black then the blue color. Just combine this directly to the canvas. There you are. The black and the blue. There. Very nice. There you go. Very, very nice now. Then the black here. And just just blend this black color to the color background so that it will uh, minimize more dark color. There you go. Very nice. Just blend also. There you go.
There you are. And this one also here. Black color and just uh, blend this dark and black color to the color background because the be color background is still wet. So it easily uh, blend this color here. There you go. That one. I think it's still uh, wet so we're going to uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use my number one round brush this one here and I'm going to uh, detail this part so I'm going to mix the color this white and the yellow color just com just mix these two color and I'm going to uh, detail his this this area There you go. There you are. Just make this other detail here. Then the sky blue color. There you go. This one here for the back this this flamingo there you are there I'm using my number one round brush for this back hair then the blue and just mix this blue and the yellow black color and paint this one here there you go there you are then add the white color or just mix the white and the blue to create the sky blue color I'm going to paint here Very nice. I'm going to mix this blue and the black color. It should be a little bit dark color. I'm going to paint this one here for the color. The uh, this one, this part, black color. There you go. There. Just continue adding this uh, bluish color. Just mix these two colors, the black and the blue. There, just paint here directly. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Just paint directly the black color here. 
There you are. And there. Spain directly the black color here. There you go. Add more white the lighter sky blue and then just paint here for the color of this back here there you are very nice And I'm going to mix this orange and the uh, the black color, the small amount of black and the orange. There you are. Just paint here for the color of this part. There you go. Just continue here and there. And the yellow color or the uh, yellow and the white, I'm going to combine these two colors. Just paint here. There you go. A little bit yellowish. The yellow and small amount of red are the orange. There you go. Just paint here and there. Just a little bit uh, curvy there. Very nice. And there. Then the orange color here. This upper portion. Then the black color to make here uh, the uh, boundary of the back and the feeder. There you go. The white and the blue color. Just paint here. To minimize the dark color here and there there you go very nice and there very nice now and we're going to uh, add also the lighter color here using this white there you go and there the white color Just observe my brush strokes here and there. Then the sky blue color. I'm going to add also the sky blue color here. There you 
There you go. And there. Just paint here the uh, cobalt or the uh, cadmium orange here. Just paint directly to this area. Cadmium orange. And there. Just paint directly the cadmium or the there the cadmium orange. There you go, very nice and good looking back where this flamingo. Mix the color this orange and the white color. There you go. This kind of color. A lighter orange there. I'm going to add here for the uh, highlight effects. There you go. And maybe this one is. I'm going to light this. This way, this one here using the white color, the edge of this back, and there, the lighter orange here. We just add the white color to put the lighter orange to this part. There you go. Very nice. dark color the black there we go just observe my brush strokes here there we go the nose trail here I'm going to add also the nose trail the airways There you go, and the lighter orange also. A little bit detailed for this nostril. There you are. Very nice now. There. Just add some detail to this part. And there. About white. We're going to add some white here. There you are. Very good looking now. And there, that's nice now. The blue, the grease or the black and the blue color, just mix these two colors and just add here for some uh, scratch or the uh, this part, the uh, there you go. Very good looking. Very nice. There you are. Now we're down with this back. This bird. We're going to continue later. I will whip this one until it dries so that we can easily add more color to this uh, subject here. Because when we're going to add color and still wet it will very not good to the combination of colors here so I will wait this one because the color this original color this here is more light and my background is dark and still wet so I know guys let's uh, continue here it's uh, already dry here uh, and also I adjust the color of the uh, here I'm 
I add uh, a blue green color to this here so that it will uh, uh, make this neck very long. The next thing to do is we're going to uh, add the uh, detail here. First, I'm going to mix the color of this blue and the white color. Just mix these two color and add a very small amount of orange. There you go. Add also the white. And there, I'm going to paint here. I'm going to lighten this part here. This area. There you go. And this one here, I'm going to lighten this upper portion for the highlight of this head. There you go. There you are. And this part, I'm going to lighten this part here. Going here. Just there. And this one. There you go. I'm going to lighten this area here. And also this one here. Just for the uh, feeder to this body. Going to light in this area here. This is the feeder to this part, and this one just blend this color here, just there, just blend this color. Mix again the white and the blue color. The white and the blue color. Just paint here directly. There you go. For the highlight of this part. There you go. By the way, I'm using my number 11 flat brush. You can also use number 12 flat brush for this kind of color. There you go. Just there. Very good looking now. For the base color of my highlight highlights. Then I'm going to mix this color, the, or the yellow and the orange. I'm going to mix these top two colors and just paint here. Yellow and the orange color. I'm going to paint this one here. There you go. The orange. Here we go, here. And the yellow. There you go. And they're very nice. A little bit dark orange here. I just add black to the orange color. Just paint some parts here for the wing or for the feeder. There you go. Very nice. And 
just blend also or soften the hard edges of this color and there very nice this one also here and there and also this one I'm going to add also here this kind of color then the yellow color some orange color here or just blend, mix the color of the yellow and the orange there you go very nice number one round brush I'm going to add here the some just like that just observe my brow strokes for the feeder here there you go very nice good looking feeder now sky blue color just mix these two color, the white and the blue color. Yeah, I'm going to make this one. Here we go, here. I think this is a very, very long process. So, I add this one, this color here. Just like this one. Uh, I'm going to make this color here all around to this to this neck except for this body because uh, the body is a, ve a little bit be bigger uh, feeder so we will separate this one here and like this one here is very small feathers here so we're going to add this kind of uh, strokes over this this one here to this neck so now guys I'm done adding with the uh, sky blue color here uh, just observe the uh, brush strokes here this is only the I'm using my number one round brush uh, this one something uh, yellowish here uh, just blend the color the sky blue color here to create the yellowish uh, effect for this area there you go then the uh, this one the orange and the black color I'm going to mix these two color to create the dark uh, the dark orange just add also here some dark portion of the uh, feeder to minimize more lighter effect to this part to this area here I'm going to add some dark color, the dark color of the feeder, feeders there. Just observe my brush strokes. This one here. Just add more darker feeder or just mix the color, the black and the orange. To create this kind of dark color there you go again black and the orange color so add orange there and just paint also here a little bit dark portion this area because this area is the shading uh, part of the neck there you go and this one also here the shading, the shading part of this area here there you go 
That's very nice now. There you are. Very, very nice. Going down here. And there. Just observe my bra strokes. Very good looking now. Then the white color. I'm going to add a white color here. More white color here. For the highlight of this big. There you go. There you are. And this one also. There. Very good. Then we're going to add here the uh, dark color in this area. We're going to mix the color, the orange and the black color to create this kind of dark color and just add here we just paint to this part I'm going to paint this one the dark color here there you are that one then the black color we're going to add some black color here just small uh, shading effect to this part there you go very nice there so we're going to make a circle or the black circle here there you go this is the eye of this flamingo. A little bit. Circle there. The lighter yellow. Yellow and the white. I'm going to uh, make or add some uh, outline here. The light outline. There you are. Very good looking now. Then I'm going to darken this part here. There. Just small. And there. Then this part here, we're going to mix the color of this white and the yellow. Should be more white color. Just paint to this part here for some highlight effects. there you go very very nice now and there more light color you see the white just paint here and there very nice I like this color. There you go. Very nice now. I'm going to paint directly the white color here for more highlight color effects. The white color. There you go white color and there the feeder color here that one very good looking uh, let's continue here the lighter orange also I'm going to mix this this orange I'm going to mix the orange and the white there you go 
and just paint here there you are very nice then after that the uh, white color I'm going to paint also the white color here just observe my brush strokes to this part there you go very very nice just continue painting this white color here and there white color very good looking just continue painting the white color here and this part also white color there you go very very nice then this one here I'm going to mix the color the white and the yellow and add very small orange just small orange there just paint here or maybe we're going to add more orange there it's orange yellow lighter orange yellow just paint here and there very good looking very nice very good looking feeders to this neck There you go. Very nice. And after that, the lighter. This one, I'm going to add more white to this color so that it, I can create more light color here and just continue painting here there you go more light color here and there there you are just add more white color here of 
for more color highlight to this part directly paint the white color there you go very nice there then this one also here there that's very nice color and there then the lighter the lighter orange also I'm going to add lighter orange to this area here just observe my brush strokes here there you go very nice and there that one the more lighter color more, more lighter orange just add more white also and there just add yellow color to create this kind of color and just paint here a little bit near to the uh, white There you go. And a very nice color. I think here we're going to add more light color to this area. I think it's I think it's not uh, yet uh, uh, good here to this part. So we're going to add here more light color or the white color here for the highlight of the feeder here. There you go. And there. Very nice now. There you are. one very nice now then this one here the sky blue color the lighter sky blue just mix the white and the blue color to create more lighter sky blue here I'm going to paint here also directly here for the uh, color of this back portion this flamingo Just observe my brush strokes. There you are. Just blend also here. The uh, gray color, the blue and the uh, black. I'm going to mix these two color and add a very small amount of this one, the white. I'm going to paint here for the something uh, shading effect to the feather. There you are. Mm, 
mice here and they're very good and there then a little bit orangey color here we're going to add some orangey color here and there very nice then the uh, sky blue color The sky blue color, the blue and the white there. Sky blue color. Just add here. There you go. Just nice. That one. How about this lower portion? The sky blue color. The blue and the white. We're going to make here the feeder. Or add or create here the feeder for the feed of the wing. Very nice. There. And this one. There you go. Very nice. I like this uh, flamingo. I like this flamingo so much, it's very neat. beautiful flamingo. There you are, a little bit lighter sky blue. Just add white for this color that I mixed earlier. there that one very good looking now the feeder and now we're going to add more light color to this part so we're going to use this white color for more highlight color of the feeder this back portion there you go. This area is uh, uh, hit by uh, too much light, so we're going to lighten this much. There you go. And there.
that one very very nice now then I'm going to uh, add some or mix the color this blue and the orange color just add white we need to add a white color there this kind of color I'm going to paint also here for the color of the feeder there you go and there There also. Just add here. And there. I think it's very good looking now. I'm going to get my number one round brush to give more detail this. There we go. Then upper portion here. There you are. Very nice. I like this painting. And there. Then we're going to lighten this a little bit here. Just lighten this one here. There. Just lighten this part. There you go very nice that one the lighter orange we're going to add also the lighter orange to this area and there there you go very nice There, we're going to add some detail here. There you go. Now, that's that one. Also, this one here. now we're done with this painting we have a very nice painting here the uh, flamingo bird guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and hit the bell symbol to turn on your notification and get notified for my upcoming new video tutorial in the near future